those are still. You smell an awful lot like <laughs> flowers. Ho! Gosh, you're looking swell. Saints, tias, angels of the most. Ho! Um, I thought I would show my face. Oh, snap my face today to give y'all some encouragement at how excited and happy I am that um, I believe I've said this a few times before, but only over the past year have I really started getting downloads on what's taking place. And I had not one, but two dreams in the past week um, showing what I'm about to tell y'all I think is taking place, which is the 144,000 end time saints on the front lines for Yeshua persecuted, a.k.a. targeted individuals, chosen by the Most High, hated by the world, we are getting our anointing, our gifts and abilities are being heightened, like extremely heightened. I don't want to say superpowers, but it kind of is like that. Wonder Woman! Anyway, um, and that's even funny because I've worn a, like a thick, um, what do you call it? leather bracelet for years some of y'all remember i used to have it on all the time they stole it out of my boat but i got another one you heard me but um for that's another story i'm not even going to try to find it right now i've uh still got stuff in suitcases in yet another place um father's got a roof over my head so all praise to the most high also i want to say thank you not one but two people remembered me and helped out um this past month. So I really appreciate you. One sister, you are so faithful. It, it amazes me. I don't even put my PayPal on many videos because uh, I know Father has my back. My needs are always provided. Even though I'm on foot, even though I'm made homeless, I have a roof. Some of y'all that are on here don't have roofs, but you have a car. Just be grateful you have a car because I can't drive 50 miles. So Father makes sure that I'm covered with a roof and when everything goes down we're gonna know how to handle things we're gonna be the only ones believers true followers of Yeshua we're not the fake phony go to church on Sunday Christians but the true believers the 144,000 are gonna be the only ones that are not gonna be panicking as everything's taking place and I don't know about y'all but I am being filled double filled with joy even though I'm in completely zapped of energy right now. I just wanted to come on and give you, hopefully y'all can hear this because my um, computer has met this. They mess with the sound a lot and I have to sit on the floor and position it on the bed so that I can talk right into two turntables and a microphone. But hopefully uh, this will give y'all some encouragement that I believe we are being extremely anointed. Um, I had a weird thing happen day before yesterday it was completely quiet all day which never happens an angel now aware shout out to you she has her channel go check her out she's a true targeted chosen individual um her video popped up and i never get like us the true elect i don't really get many notifications i have to go on and check so I knew Father wanted me to see this, and I also don't watch a lot of videos, very rare. So I'll like read the headline of something going on with Begin Begley and that kind of stuff. Um, what is it called? Grand Supreme News Channel, that's how I'll find out, is there a train wreck? I listen to like a minute or two and that's it, just to find out what's going on in the physical. But her channel popped up and she also was noticing how quiet it was and she was saying this was on the same day day before yesterday and she was saying how have you ever noticed that when gang stalkers have a party how quiet it is and i was like it is weird today is very quiet there's no dogs barking constant constantly they have them on either side at this new place i've been to about a week i've been here about a week a little over a week and below me and they just leave them to bark all day they just quieted so I'm coming on I'm taking this opportunity to tell y'all but there was no construction construction they orchestrated not one not two by not three but four construction sites 
surrounding me all within the first three days I was here. That's what a threat some of us are. True followers of Yeshua, the 144,000, that's what a threat we are to the Satanic kingdom. Um, and none of that, no kind of slamming doors, no honking horns, no people walking by staring up at me, no fake conversation, no satanic clown show in the street, nothing, just dead at silence. And she had the same thing. And I, it was the same day that the meteor was supposed to skim close to the earth. And I believe that this is father's judgment, that father's judgment is coming forth is what he keeps telling me. The words I'm getting are not words that I speak. I would say um, father's judgment is coming or coming quickly or something. He keeps repeating coming forth. It reminded me of Sarah Forth calling my best friend that went home last year to be with Yeshua. And she's getting the uh, wedding table set for us, y'all. Um, but sh her channel was called Sarah Forth Calling. Her name was actually Karen. Yes, she's not a Karen. They, I believe that they make up these names against Father's elect. Like, Karen, really? She like, was like the nicest, sweetest, kindest, meekest person. Just kind heart. Anyway, her channel was called Sarah Forth Calling because Father told her that her name in heaven was going to be Sarah. Uh, two weeks before she passed, she was given a dream where Jesus came and carried her up into the clouds. So it was really cool. She knew. I believe she knew. Time for us to fly. So now I'm going to tell y'all what Father's been showing me about us getting our gifts and abilities like really extremely heightened. Um, I hadn't been getting a lot of dreams for the past at least month. So the, the fact I had two, two days apart actually this past week as well as two words of knowledge all this past week. I believe that that's how close we're getting to wrapping it up, wrap it up. And I also believe that Father is dealing with our stalkers and that's why it's been more quiet. It's right now, it's all praise again. And he's, he's dealing with them. So you don't mess with God's elect. It's mighty reckless to mess with the elect. Okay, so, um, the new moon was on the same day that I had one of these, a really, really awesome dream. And it was also Skull and Bones Day, 322. So this past week is when I had this dream. And it was also, like I said, the new moon and it was Skull and Bones Day. So now I'm going to kind of tell y'all what I remember. Um, so the dream was... I was being surrounded by about 20, possibly 25, definitely 20 people. They were very evil. They were, I was made aware that they were witches and Satanists and they were going to try to kill me. And they, and it's funny cause they're all gathered around the, the entire place that I'm at is completely surrounded, but I don't have any fear. I just laugh, but anyway, and praise the Lord. But, um, they were surrounding me. I have to say it was extremely blackout, like dark, like you couldn't see anything else except where they were was highlighted to me and that they were coming. They were marching forward to me, but they were going real slow. And the vibe I got was I'm not dealing with human beings anymore. These witches and these Satanists and these mockers of Yeshua and these that sold out to the satanic kingdom have now changed. They are now completely being taken over by fallen and demons. And I believe the darkness could have symbolized the three days of darkness. It could have symbolized like the darkness that's coming on this earth. And it was void of all light, but I could see there was like, I could see with my eyes, like my eyes lit up where they were as if my eyes were flashlight. It was amazing. By the way, my eyes are hazel. When it's dark, they'll look brown. If I stand in the uh, window, to the window, to the wall, they'll be kind of greenish. Sometimes they're gold. But what I wanted to say is um, what I've noticed, my pupils, they look like stars lately. Really cool. And I was like, 
oh my gosh, is that a slit? Am I a reptilian? <laughs> it looks real good. And I was like, what in the world? They look like stars. Kaleidoscope eyes. So y'all tell me if y'all are noticing that with your pupils, because we are from the stars. What are stars in the Bible? They're angels. Yeah, this is amazing. And so we're transforming. So now let me get back to the dream. I'll say the whole dream and then I'll go in and explain a little more because I'd take a long time. I can talk now. Um, okay, so it was very dark, about 20, 25 um, people that were sat Satanists and witches that were completely taken over by demonic and fallen angels. They were like they were zombies. They were in a trance and they were going real slow, but it's like they had surrounded me all of a sudden in the darkness. And I knew instinctively by the Holy Spirit that they were going to try to kill me. And I didn't rebuke them. I didn't try to talk to them. I didn't tell them anything about Yeshua, which normally I'll do in a dream. I'll say, I rebuke you in Jesus name, something like that. And then they disappear. I didn't do any of that. It was different. It was like, I knew I was not dealing with anything human and there was no time to even do that. It was going to be a split second. Like they were just going to jump on me or something. So here's the funny part, but it was kind of cool. So I started flapping my, my arms. Okay. But it's faith by faith. We are healed by faith. We're going to be able to do these things. Faith in Yeshua. Remember when Paul walked out onto the water, okay? He had to have faith, or Peter, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so I'm flapping my wings, and I guess it looked silly. So one broke out of like a trance or something. It was like they were, they had black eyes, like completely black, and just pure hate came out of them. And nothing but hate and murder vibe, kind of. And it was like one of the witches like kind of snapped out of whatever it was. Like, I don't know if she was being taken over or whatever, but she says to another one, look like she's really going to fly like that. And then as I did, as I did this, I started going off the ground, like floating, not levitating, like actually raising up. And then the, instead of like saying, oh my gosh, or anything like that, they tried to downplay it. And they said, well, when I had and they kept the same one, the rest of them were still like zombies. And then the one said in the front, the main one in the front said, well, when I had an encounter with, a, with an angel, they turned into a ball of light and flew off like that, like doubting, okay, that what I was doing was already amazing. And then that's when I realized I needed to jet right then because they were about to pounce. They were about to like grab like zombies feeding. Okay. Is what it was like the vibe I got. And all of a sudden I just sprouted wings like push, bam. It was this quick. It was like this. Okay. Like this is me. And I went push, push, that fast up into the air with these huge wings that came out. And I turned into a beam, I want to say a ball of light, but it looked more like a long beam of light. Ultrasonic, radio light, be a solar system in a beam of light. Telecommunication, telecommunication. Okay, that was an old song, sorry. A flashback from the 80s. Okay, so I turned into this long, thin ball of, or beam of light. And when I went up, I looked behind me and I saw a giant tail, like a dove's tail, a huge white dove's tail. And then I went up it like way up. Like I, I don't know what happened. Then I woke up. So I believe that that was another rapture dream. Rapture before take a tour through the soul. Anyway, um, that's what I believe it was. And I was like, but what, what is the tail for, Lord? And I believe what I was being shown was the Holy Spirit or possibly another angel was escorting me up. But I had wings, so I don't think it was another angel. I think it was actually symbolic of the Holy Spirit because I was aware that it was a dove's tail, but it was huge. It was as big as I am right now, okay, behind me. 
So that was really cool. So that was one. And then let me tell you the other one. Okay, that was on the 22nd. Then I was also given Orion's belt again to pay attention with Orion's belt. Father gave me last year. I told y'all about it. I came on and made a video um, and even got Orion's belt in a picture on my camera. Um, but when, when Orion's belt comes, when we can see it, we're going to go through that. We're going to send through that. That's part of what we're to look for. And I was shown that again, also reminded of it on the 22nd. The 22nd was a busy day, y'all, of this month, Skull and Bones Day. Okay, um, then I was also given, let's see, I want to make sure I get the dates right. All right, also on the 22nd, I woke up at 6.37 a.m., and I got a flash vision, which I don't get a lot. Immediately as I opened my eyes, I saw the words. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other one. It was just two words, South Carolina. That's all I got. I don't know anybody there. So I think something's going to go down there. So South Carolina was on the 22nd. And what I got on the 24th is what is leading me to come on, even though I really didn't want to come on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just exhausted. Constant spiritual battle. Constantly. All day. All day. No breaks, really. I mean, I take that back. I did get a couple breaks over the last week. But for the most part, it's... And even while we're sleeping, we're doing battle in the spiritual realm because we're the frontline warriors for Yeshua. Okay? But on the 24th is why I came on. Main reason, because what I was given on the 24th, I thought it was for me. I didn't think, I, I wasn't even sure what it was yet. But now I just got online for the first time today and see um, that there was another train wreck. And I told y'all they're going to continue because they're chloroforming. They're, they're tox, toxifying the air even worse than with the chemtrails, okay? And with the water and the food and all that because... The fallen angels, which are here, they're falling. These are meteors that are coming down. Those are fallen angels. Um, what? Yeah, for real. You heard me? Um, they breathe sulfur. They breathe poison, toxic chemicals, and it kills humans, right? So that's part of what the wrecks are. Also, they're unearthed under the earth. They're fallen encased in the earth. There are giants, the Nephilim, that are in the earth, as well as serpents, okay, giant serpents. And there one is the Serpent Mound in Ohio, which I told y'all about, which is about two hours from Palestine, all right? And then uh, there's a couple other ones all up there, up north. And there, it's a great shaking. Father is shaking the earth. And I'm going to blow up the earth! <laughs> I was Marvin the Martian. <laughs> anyway, um, and so... Um, when this happens, it also like shakes the trains, but the fallen are doing this. They're causing these spills, these chemical releasing toxins and all this kind of stuff, poisoning everything, making it, it's, it's you know, where there's going to be water shortage and all that stuff. Okay. Let me find my glasses, my glasses. Okay. On the 24th, the reason why I came on today is I woke up at 5.57 a.m. Oh, I thought it was 6.57. 5.57 a.m. with the words Black Hills, and then I think I got Fishing Lodge. And I saw a hill with leaves and a cabin, a wooden cabin, and the leaves were changing colors. So it was like the fall, and Father showed me the fall. The fall is happening. Okay. Cabin in the woods, we're going to our safe safe place, the wilderness in the woods. All right. Um, and then, but I was like, Black Hills, where is that? So I Googled it. It's in North Dakota, which is now the train wreck. So I apologize. I should have come on the other day, but I couldn't put it together. Fishing Lodge. I think this more than likely stands for we're fishermen. We're fishers of men, okay? So we're rounding up the last, the last of the, um, the fruits. We're rounding up the last of the lost sheep. So anyway, 
And then let me see. Then I also had one more dream, which is really encouraging. So the one dream I had is we can now, we're going to be able to fly. Time for us to fly. And we're going to be able to sprout wings and turn into light beings like we actually are. This is just a flesh suit here. This isn't how we really are. And these witches and the Kardashian crew and all, they're, they're, they're crumbling. You're going to see how monstrous they actually look. They do spells and do things to make themselves look beautiful. And plus they do a lot of, you know, plastic surgery and all that kind of stuff. But it's not going to hide the evil that's within these creatures. They're coming out. So they try to make it like the people that are natural, God's children, those that didn't change the way God made us, that we're hideous and we're ugly and all these things. That's what they try to make it like, but it's actually the opposite. Remember, Satan turns everything upside down. Good is considered evil and evil good. And you're about to see what these evil witches in Hollywood that, and these models and all these things that sold their souls and do evil and do and kill babies and pets and children and all that, you're going to see how wicked they actually are. Angelina, she's a fallen angel. Brad Pitt, going into the pit, he's a fallen angel. A bunch of them are. Leonardo DiCaprio, Decapitate, they, Ellen Degenerate, DeGeneres, they're wicked. And they're about to be exposed. And Oprah and Ellen and Kardashian, I was shown that those three and Madonna, Madonna is now full-blown demon. She is a creature. I was shown all of those are about to be exposed and then disposed. They're not human. All right. So just be watching. But on the 24th, I had a I better wrap it up. They like to hang up on me. They like to turn this off. Um, the 24th, I woke up at 5.57 a.m. with Black Hills Fishing Lodge. And then I told you about the rest. The leaves were changing color. All right. And I'm trying to find the other dream. And then also, is I woke up and I woke up from this dream. I dreamt that some evil gang stalker Satanists community-based criminal, I mean cowards, I mean weaklings, bumps, um, gang stalker Satanists, and I was specifically, these weren't just witches, these were Satanists, high-level Satanists, okay, um, had killed what I thought was my, my dog, okay, but um, it wasn't, it wasn't my dog, but I kept saying, where's my dog, where's my dog, like that. And there's a story to that that actually happened in the real, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, uh, where they took her from me, stole her. But anyway, I was saying, what did you do? What did you do with my dog? And finally, I'm reading this, okay? Finally, an evil guy s said, she's outside on the steps. And I knew in my spirit, like my heart dropped, that they had thrown my dog, who's like five or six pounds, thrown her onto the steps and killed her. And I was like, <sighs> trying to get enough strength, because some of y'all know how they killed my Chewy, they poisoned him and he died in my arms and all the torture they did to my dog, Beignet. They both got their little crowns, they're in heaven, by the way. We're going to see our animals soon, y'all, y'all that have had pets taken out. Anyway, um... And so I went out, I ran out, and I said, no, they will not kill you. I rebuked it. And I said, I will bring you back to life. Th those are the words I said. Like I had extreme faith. And then I put my palms and my hands out over her. Wow, as soon as I did that, heat came out of my hands. It, it's not hot. Yet. Wow. We're being anointed, y'all. Okay, I put my palms over her over her lungs, okay, and this, let me read this, okay, over her lungs, and it's like I could see through her fur into her, like on the inside of what was going on, and as I'm doing that, her lungs expanded, and she started breathing again, let me see if I said anything else, let 
Okay, yeah, that's all. I didn't say anything. I just said, um, I will heal you. Let me say, let me tell you exactly what I said. No, they will not kill you. I will bring you back to life. That's what I said. And I was real matter of fact and focused on it. I did not cry. I did not allow the, what I was seeing in the physical to, I didn't allow it to, I didn't accept it. Okay. Put my palms over her and I could supernaturally see inside of her and her lungs started growing and expanding like the breath of life was coming back into her. Wow. Thank you, Father. That's what I was seeing. Wow. Um, the breath of life came back into her and her lungs started going in and out. And then her chest started expanding and then she jumped away, started running around and all the Satanists, I was aware that there was more than just the few that I first noticed. They all got extremely fearful and scared because they knew that we had been anointed by father and they were about to be judged. Also, I forgot to tell you on the other dream that I had on the 22nd when I flew, I looked at each one of the witches. Thank you, Father. I didn't write this part down. I just remembered it. I looked at each one of the witches, and as I saw their faces, I was being shown that their wickedness was being recorded. And through my eyes, it was like we who have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit are the two witnesses. Us, our spirit, and the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. So we're actually the two witnesses and each one of them was being recorded and going straight up to the throne room in heaven for their judgment. Yep. So we're actually, when we look at them, we don't even have to say anything y'all. I know it's hard. I called them out the other day, the bumbling buffoon clown show. And today I said, I tried to make a joke though today. I went into the store and it was really hot out and I was just walking around. I went into the store and of course completely swarmed. This is all day. This is not a big deal. I'm not making this about stalkers because they're, they're a dime a dozen. But um, it was just kind of funny. And they couldn't break my peace. They couldn't break my joy that the Holy Spirit gives us when we focus on the Most High God, not on them. But they were so desperate to get my attention. One's in there with a red bag, shaking the red bag, well, her purse across her chest, waving it. Then another one's walking by with two red thermoses. And that was specifically made for me because a long time ago, before my dog died, um, I said, all I need is this thermos and my dog. And that's all I need because it was off the movie, The Jerk with Steve Martin. It's an old movie. And um, so they like to carry th red thermoses around. So he's got not one, but two, like they're desperate to get my attention. And I was just focused on, you know, joy. Like I was noticing all the cool things. A butterfly flew up. Butterflies been following me, coming out my window when I open the shades and I'm upstairs too. Just a lot of cool little things like that. The father gives us. Um, also, I was downloaded while I was walking Pegasus. Pegasus arise, which I saw in a dream. We get our white horses with wings and we fly alongside of Jesus. When we come back to battle the fallen, kick the wicked into the pit. Yeah, we're the judges. You heard me? But um, Father's judges, the Most High God's judges. Um, so Pegasus arise I got, and then as I got that, two hawks, not one but two, flew by, and Father showed me double portion, get ready. It's coming. We're being anointed. All these things are just falling into place. It's just like so much. It's hard for me to stay focused. That's another reason I don't make a lot of videos because I'll just ramble on. I try to focus on one thing. Focus fact is what I end up talking about a lot because it's constant with me. Father is constantly downloading things, showing me things, revealing things, giving me songs. I got a song that I'm going to tell you about. Wrote a song about it. Like to hit, hit, go. But getting back to the red shoe shuffle. So I made a joke because they were surrounding me in this little store, a tiny store, okay? And desperately trying to get my attention. Finally, this one guy bends over and he starts tying his, you guessed it, red clown shoes. As he does, another man walks in and he's got a bag and he drops the bag and red clothes spill out. I'm not even joking, y'all. Red clothes spill out in the middle of this little store. And I just, I just said, uh, the red shoe shuffle. And they didn't laugh. They didn't do anything. And then I said, uh, mark it zero, Donnie, mark it zero. And the lady behind the counter kind of laughed. And then it's like she got scared. I said, oh, you're not supposed to laugh with the targets joking. No laughing aloud. 
And uh, then she kind of like smirked, but it's like they're not allowed to let us know that <laughs> some of them, all the 144,000, I believe, have the gift of humor because we're made in our father's image. Father has a good sense of humor. Lucy the loser doesn't. They don't have any 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 joy. They, they're not creative. They don't have anything that we have because we're of our father, the one true God. But anyway, and he's the creator of all. So of course we're going to be creative, right? We're going to have humor. Humor, you got to be creative to have humor. And they don't have it. They're copies. They're copycats. Serpent, seed of the serpent. But anyway, yeah. And I made a couple more jokes and none of them laughed. And then as I left, of course, I had to say it, but I did not say it in anger. I really didn't. I wasn't angry in the least. I just said, looked right at this one stalker with the red shoes on that ended up sitting down right there on this little bench thing. And he, he's looking down at his phone and he looks like he's so mad because they didn't get me upset. And um, I looked right at him, but he wouldn't look at me, but our eyes are the windows to the soul, right? Eyes are the windows to the soul. We're recording the evil they're doing, the wicked they're doing, and Father's seeing it in the throne room. It's being written in the books in heaven for their judgment. And I looked right at him and I said, um, Jesus loves you, gang stalker, but you better repent and you better do it quick. I said, time is up or something like that. I, I don't know what I said. Nothing. Never looked up because they're cowards. They're coming. Anyway, so let's see anything else to tell y'all about. Oh, and then this happened today. So today is 327. And I've been shown two and seven for quite a while, including back when I lived on my boat because I couldn't get approved on an apartment, couldn't afford anything. And father said, get a boat. Not get a not get a rope, get a boat. And I got this tiny little rinky-dink sailboat. If y'all been on this channel, watching this channel since 2016 and 2017, y'all will remember it. A military, high-ranking military ended up uh, sabotaging it. Yep. They're sent to us. High-ranking. I, I. Really? Get this? It's the same thing. Hi-yo. 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 They're Nazis. It's the same satanic bloodline. It's the same satanic bloodline that crucified Yeshua, Jesus Christ, that's stalking and crucifying us daily, persecuting us daily. So it shouldn't be a surprise. All praise to the Most High that we're considered worthy TIs, chosen individuals, to go through this fiery trial. Many are called, few are chosen. We are the regulators for Yeshua HaMashiach. But um, getting back to this, Back then, I was shown gateways seven and two opening. I had it in a dream. Didn't know what it meant, but I put it out. And so seven, two is significant. Also has something personal with me, to do with me, which I, if Father tells me to reveal it, I will. Some of y'all know. But today is three, two, seven. Okay, three, two, seven. It's also three. So if you put March 27th, 23, it'd be 32723. So there's a skull and bones hidden in today, in today's number. I'm getting a ringing in my left ear right now. I woke up at, this sounds late. I slept till after seven, but I've been having so many attacks that I've been only sleeping about three hours. So I got eight hours of sleep. I woke up at 7.22 a.m. 7.2 again. Okay. On three, two, seven, two, three. I mean, just look at this is the date. Sorry for my scribble. Three, two, seven, two, three. Skull and bones, three, two, two. Okay. But it goes either way. Three, two, then the seven in the middle, and then two, three. Woke up at seven twenty-two on the twenty-seventh. And I dreamt I was meeting another end time saint, 144, that I just um met online maybe a week or two ago um haven't talked to them on the phone or anything so i don't want to disclose their name but i know they're one of the 144 i know 100 percent. father showed me they were in my dream i don't have dreams where i actually will get end time saints um faces 
instead of y'all's face, I get just in your face, I get a bright white light, but I'll know that it's a man or a woman in the build that y'all have. And I can get a sense. I've known several of y'all I've, I've recognized by the, in the spirit. And that's what this was. I didn't see their face, but I got their name though. And so I knew father wanted me to look up the meaning of their name, which is an unusual name. And I don't want to say it because I don't have permission. All right. So it's an unusual name. And I dreamt I was meeting this end time saint 144 in Ala Mirada. Well, I used to live in Key West. I mean, Key West, not for very long, like, I don't know, half a year, I guess. Some of y'all remember. And, um, Ala Mirada is in the Keys, the Florida Keys. It's like a, it's like, it's only a hundred mile strip. It goes from Key West, I mean, Key West, all the way to King Largo, and then it becomes Miami. Um, and it's like a hundred miles, okay? Ala Mirada is in the middle of there, and I'm like, thinking, am I supposed to go there, Lord? And Father said, look it up. Look up the meaning. I never did this. The whole time I lived in the Keys, I, I never looked up the meaning of Ala Mirada. I thought it was just the name that, and I was like, well, Al could mean like island. And then I thought maybe it's something Spanish. Well, Ala Mirada means purple island. Purple rain, purple rain. But it gets cooler. The person, the end time saint that I was told I was going to be meeting in Ala Mirada, their first name means pointed hill. And their last name means lasting and enduring. Okay. So what does this mean for us? It means we're going to the island when the purple rain symbolic for the red team and the blue team. Thank you, father. You know, they're both work for the same team. Okay. That's why I've never paid attention to politics, never voted. Um, when I have dreams about politicians, it means something because I don't give a crap about them. I know they all work together for the satanic kingdom and most, most of them, the high level ones are fallen angels or they're at least demons. Anyway, um, purple rain, red, I used to paint y'all red and blue. If you make, if you mix it together, it makes purple, purple rain. Prince was talking about purple rain, purple rain. And that used to be my favorite song. I heard that song this past week. Wow. I didn't even think about that. That's not a common song when you're walking around that they play. And I was like, what? So it's all fitting together. The purple rain, the red and the blue, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans who took the red pill and who took the blue pill. Um, they are coming together as a purple rain, the last battle on this earth before Yeshua comes. Purple rain. Okay, so we go there to the Purple Island, and we're being given training in the spiritual realm. If you wake up and you got seven or eight hours of sleep, all praise to the Most High, number one, with all their clown acts that they do all day with it. Got the leaf blower out in the rain like an idiot, but I know I'm the woman when I electrocute in my booty. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, the purple island. <laughs> Fantasy island. Okay. So a lot of us are, if you wake up and you're exhausted, we are battling in the spiritual realm, but we're also going up into other dimensions to train. And I was shown an island. So what's this Karen Sarah Forth caller? A lot of y'all remember her talking about that. So purple island. I'm getting chill bumps. Thank you, Father. And then the person I was supposed to meet, uh, this end time saint, their first name means pointed hill and their last name means lasting and enduring. So when the purple rain comes, we go up to what is a pointed hill? What could that be symbolic for? I believe it's symbolic for the mount, father's holy mountain. We mount up, we go to the hill, the mounted hill, pointed hill, and then we last and endure. Why do you think they are always talking about wanting to be um, eternal because 144 are we were made first we were created first my father okay so we go back up 
our light does not die. They, on the other hand, that took the shot in the dark or that bow down to the serpent or they're going to bow down to the beast and all that, the beast system, they harm others and do rituals and all these evil things that they do, which I won't get into. They work for Satan. They go where he goes in the lake of fire, fire in the hole, which is coming. It's, it's open. Um, all right. And then, like I said, I was also given North Dakota with Black Hills. Now, I don't know if Black Hills stands for something else. It, oh, wow, Father. The three days of darkness, of blackness coming over the, the earth, and we go up. We're safe. We go up on the mount. All right. I think I talked to Squawked enough. Let's see. Oh, and Father keeps telling me judgment forth calling. I mean, judgment forthcoming, which reminded me of Sarah forth calling. All right. Forthcoming, Father keeps telling me. And I don't talk like that. It's not one of my words. Judgment forthcoming. It's been, he's been telling me that every day for the last at least 10 days now that something's up with that to the point that I actually warned some people when I first got to this new place and was completely harassed and surrounded. I mean, just ridiculous. I won't even get in. I'm not giving them the, the time of day to even waste minutes talking about the clown show they orchestrated for me when I got here. But, um, and that's what I said, judgment, the most high's judgment forthcoming. And then father reminded me of the four angels holding back. The four winds have been released. Father says, behold, I come as a whirlwind. See that no one steals your crown. Saints, we got to be vigilant now. Stay in prayer, stay aware, and don't be scared. Also, there is an alignment coming on the tr tomorrow. Wow. Wow. Thank you for reminding me. If I get cut off, y'all look it up. I did not look up what all the planets were yet. Father just showed me yesterday. Remember, there is an alignment coming. Okay. It's a planetary alignment. And I know that's a heads up. The other night, the 22nd, I didn't even realize that it was a new moon until I looked up what's the phase of the moon. And I got it on my camera out my window. It was amazing. It was uh, the moon, which was just like the little crescent, which they'll show in a lot of the, the flags of Islam and a lot of the, you know, those kind of mosque and things, the crescent like that. And then a bright white star under it directly in line. And I could perfectly see it out the window. And it was Venus aligning with the moon. And Father said, this is part of judgment coming forth. Let me see. I thought I got it. But... Talk amongst yourselves. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I'm sorry, y'all. Can't find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, no, it was the 24th I got it, but it became thus the new moon on the 22nd. That's what it was. This is directly outside the window. Perfectly in line. But these pictures don't do it justice. Perfectly in line. And then, remember Father told me, if y'all been listening to this channel, listening to my squawking for over, I don't know, a couple of years, Father had started telling me, maybe back in 2019, that there's going to be a crossing in the sky, a cross in the sky, and that's when we fly. When the meteors come down, we go up. The fallen come down, we go up. We get our angelic light bodies in a beam of light, we come back down and we battle them. And this was the sun Thursday. This was amazing, right outside the window. It's a cross, y'all.
trying to get it. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's really hard to show it on the phone like this. But it looks exactly like a cross with the sun. I'm sorry, I think I said the moon. The sun in it. Remember the, the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Something's about to take place. And again, Pegasus arrives, Father showed me. So any day now, I believe we're being anointed. We're getting supernatural strength and power. And just keep your joy. Keep praising Father. Thank Him that we're considered worthy to go through this fiery trial, okay? To refine us as goal because we have to get rid of all impurities that are of the flesh, of the eagle, eagle, wow, of the eagle. We're, we're rising like an eagle. Buzzard, this is the eagle hawk. The eagle has landed. It's an old joke my ex-boyfriend a long time ago used to say. Um, all right, so... You have to be completely purified and get rid of anything that holds you to this earth to ascend. And I believe we're about to. We're going to go through the firmament, which is in between the earth and heaven, and then go home. Time for us to fly. I love y'all. Prayers for everybody. Please continue to pray for me. I'm under heavy, heavy attacks. I know most of y'all are. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for the lost. Um, also, I'm asking y'all to please pray for a homeless man I met a couple days ago named Randy. He's an older man, and he's outside. Um, also, pray for three other homeless people I met um, over the last, I don't know, couple weeks. Um, Laura, Steve, and John. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're outside too, and I'm meeting other ones, but... Um, Certain ones will really hit me that Father's showing me pray for this one. And I try to remember their names. I'm really bad with names. So the fact that I remember their names, Father wants us to keep them in prayer. Pray for all the homeless because a lot of these people are heavily persecuted. And I believe some of them are Father's angels also. Remember, be careful in entertaining strangers for in doing so. Some have entertained angels unaware. And... For you stalkers, you gang stalkers, you satanic spies, clown posse, shame on you. Father says, actually, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, whom you persecuted, your bloodline did. Um, Jesus Christ said that, depart from me, I never knew you. When I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was naked, you did not clothe me. When I was in prison, you did not visit me. When I was a stranger, you did not welcome me in. And you'll ask, well, when did I do this to you? When you did this to the least of these, us, whom I get in, I get to a new place and I'm treated like scum. Not one person ever says, hey, how you doing? They do just real evil, hateful, like trying to run me out. Just remember that you are coming against the Most High God because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Be careful in entertaining strangers, for in doing so, some have entertained angels unaware.